Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. So, has the iPad finally re reached the potential of becoming a full laptop replacement? Is it time for us just to settle down with one device for all our computing needs? Here are nine reasons why I feel that the iPad Pro 2020 could work as the perfect device as a laptop replacement. Just before proceeding, please do subscribe to my channel guys so I can continue making fun and informative content for you. Let's get on with the video. Number one, the reason is Files app. The iPad, since its conception, was weak when it came to file management system and it always lacked a Windows-esque file management system. Apple brilliantly fixed this with the iPad OS and opened up the Files app. So now you can save, open any type of files, create folders, rename them, create zip folders. So basically you can do everything that you can do on a Windows or a Mac when it comes to file management. And it's this level of control which makes you Keep using the iPad and not reach out for your laptop. Number two, Downloads Manager. iPad OS also allows you to download files and the Safari browser does come with a proper download manager. It doesn't allow you to download exe files for good reason, but you can download videos, mp3 files and other popular file types. And it also gets better as the OS asks you where to save the file. For instance, while saving a picture, you can save it to the standard camera roll or save it to the Files app so you can treat it more like a file and rename it and zip it, etc. Number three is multitasking. With Windows, you can go crazy with the amount of windows you can open at the same time. But honestly, can you work on something like this? The answer is probably no. At the most, multitasking for us is two windows side by side along with maybe a video or music playing in the background. And the iPad Pro can absolutely do this. You can have two windows side by side and have music or video playing in the background. You can also have a floating window on top and think that would satisfy most of our multitasking requirements. You can also open the same app side by side, allowing true Windows or Mac-like multitasking. Number four is drag and drop. Again, very Windows-like and very efficient. You can drag and just move files from one application to another. You can drag content from websites and even images. Again, supporting the point which I'm trying to make about the iPad Pro, which could be a true laptop replacement. Number five, it's the keyboard, trackpad and mouse support. iPad OS also added full support for accessories like keyboards, trackpads and mouse. This makes the iPad function like a full laptop. First, let's look at a keyboard. Typing on glass screen always feels like, well, typing on glass screen and the precision is totally down to the auto suggest software. I always used that and even got used to it until I added a keyboard and then it all became so much better. The tactile feedback provided much more accuracy and typing and navigation using a keyboard felt so natural, just like on a laptop. You can add Bluetooth keyboards or buy third-party keyboard cases. The one I'm using is the EasyAct keyboard case from Amazon. There's a whole video review on my channel with a unique 20% discount code. I'll put all the detail for that in the description box below. And with the keyboard also, you get all decent shortcuts, which makes you easy to control your iPad Pro. You can toggle between tags. You can go back to home screen, bring up your multitasking windows, use cut, copy and paste. And all this makes it much more easier to do it on a physical keyboard rather than doing it on the touchscreen. This EasyAct keyboard case also comes with control keys, which allows you to control system functions like volume and brightness. Next is mouse pointer. Admittedly, iPad and the OS interface still is primarily meant for touch input via fingers. 
but the availability of more and more desktop class applications like Microsoft Excel, Apple Numbers, and LumaFusion, you begin to appreciate the added ability to interact with a pointer-based device. You can easily pair a Bluetooth mouse or a USB mouse via an adapter and control your iPad using that. Apple also allows you to customize the shape and sensitivity of the pointer along with the animations giving you the precision which you desire. And if you're still looking for a finer mouse pointer kind of precision, then the Apple Pencil Gen 2 will fill that void. So with the pencil, you can pinpoint those tiny numbers cells or Excel cells with much more precision or even control LumaFusion's tiny icons with better accuracy. I will make a detailed video soon about the Apple Pencil. So please be subscribed to my channel guys to show your support. Then the trackpad support. Currently, the expensive £300 Apple Magic Keyboard is the closest one which provides you the full laptop feel along with a trackpad integrated into the case. Shame that Apple did not open its proprietary smart connectors to third parties so we could have got cheaper alternatives. But if you like using trackpads on laptops, then the Magic Keyboard is the way to go. Number 6. It's the USB Type-C port. Having a much more universal port means added compatibility with various accessories. In this case, a simple USB-C dongle can provide you support to pen drives, SD cards, portable hard drives, and even external monitors, same as how a laptop would support them. In my usage, I find the ability to connect SD cards, portable hard drives, and external monitors very helpful. With the monitor, it's a shame that you have to put up with the sidebars if you're not using some third-party app which can prevent this but hope Apple addresses this issue in the next OS update. I would also mention the ability to print here. I know you cannot connect a USB cable and print via the iPad, but with AirPrint, this is very easy. And more importantly, printers with AirPrint capability aren't that expensive nowadays. If you see, you can get an AirPrint enabled printer for less than 35 pounds. Number seven is that power under the hood. If you follow WWDC 2020, then you're well aware that Apple was running desktop class applications using the iPad Pro's A12Z processor. Based on that, you can actually judge the capability of that brilliant Bionic chip. Even the entire iOS and the App Store combined, I don't think they are utilizing the full potential of that A12Z processor. Then the 6 gigs of RAM. Even today on Windows, you get 4 gigs of RAM on their laptops. Sure, 6 gigs sound less in comparison with the 16 gigs which you can get on laptops, but the way Apple optimizes their device and the operating systems, that 6 gig RAM would totally suffice and even would last you for years to come. Number 8 is the power of apps. I don't think I have to detail this as we all are aware of Apple and its brilliant app ecosystem, not just for the iPhone, but proper optimized apps for the iPad as well. Let me give you a summary. For work on a daily basis, these are the apps which I use on my laptop. Microsoft Office Suite, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, Slack, Zoom, Trello, Mitel Communications Dialer, Chrome, FTP Explorer, Express VPN, and I can safely say that there's a proper iPad optimized version for each of them. Not even one single app is missing out of my list, and not even one of them is a blown up version of an iPhone app. No chance, not on the Apple App Store. They are all proper iPad optimized apps. And if I may add, some of them even feel better and easier to use on the iPad compared to a laptop. Guys, there are a few exceptions. I haven't included apps like web servers, code testers. As for certain jobs, you still have to rely on laptops and computers like developers and programmers. But maybe soon we would get all that on the iPad and I'm just super excited about the possibilities. And for the final point number nine, I want to list all those things which the iPad Pro can do better compared to a laptop. Starting right from great battery life, excellent portability, great and super convenient media watching capabilities, decent cameras, a totally stress and virus free environment, 
and proper OS updates and backup options. I do feel all of this in a decent and controlled manner by Apple does provide a better experience and a better system to rely on. So there you go guys, nine reasons why I feel the iPad Pro can be that perfect laptop replacement device. Get a keyboard case and maybe the Apple Pencil and a USB-C adapter and there is no stopping. I'm glad that Apple took all the right steps with iPadOS and addressed those huge limitations which was hindering the iPad's true potential. And looking at the iPadOS 14 updates, I'm super excited to see what's next for this amazing, amazing device. So please be subscribed to my channel guys as I will bring all those updates first hand along with some in-depth real world usage and testing. I have already covered the iPad Air and iPad Pro 2020 in depth on my channel and I will link those playlists down below if you wish to check it out. So that's all for the video guys. Hope you liked it and if you did, please drop a like and comment down below to let me know. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.